For now, Sam Rainsy is watching developments at home from France. It's something he's used to. This is not the first time I have been forced into exile. During my previous exile, my party kept growing and now we, are, we have never been so strong. The leader of Cambodia's main opposition party is staying away to avoid a new arrest warrant. It was issued in connection with a conviction for defaming the foreign minister seven years ago. Rainsy was given a two-year jail sentence that was never enforced. He says the charges against him are politically motivated and part of a long campaign by the government and prime minister to squash the opposition. Hun Sen has run this country for more than 30 years. He and his party have always pitched themselves as the only people who can stop this country sliding backwards. And more recently, he warned that if the opposition wins the next election, Cambodia could descend into civil war. A spokesman for the ruling party says Rainsy's nationalist views are dangerous, likening them to the brutal Khmer Rouge that ran Cambodia for four years in the 1970s. They do not represent democracy and they don't have democratic understanding. They lead the opposition as a hostile enemy against the government. At the moment it seems to be the opposition that's facing hostility. In October two MPs were attacked by government supporters outside parliament. Eye sockets broken, the nose broken, the two teeth broken and uh, my wrist broken. The opposition suspects it's all happening because the government is scared of how popular it's becoming ahead of the next general election in less than three years. They know that there is a growing popular support for the opposition, especially the young generation who uh, wants to have uh, a new leadership. This uh, generation uh, is uh, really getting more and more powerful. Sam Rainsy believes he can still be a powerful opposition leader from exile and says he'll return to Cambodia when the democratic process is back on track. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.